Just got done with the run. It's raining a little bit. And when I run, I like to listen to motivational audiobooks, uh, particularly ones that, you know, are somebody that's running. <laughs> I'm like, well, if they're doing that, I can knock out these three or four miles. So I'm listening to Running For My Life. It's the story of Lopez Lamong. And he was a lost boy of Sudan, um, overcame incredible odds, saw Michael Johnson running in the Olympics and decided he wanted to come to the United States. And he makes it. He, he you know, overcomes all odds, comes to the United States, runs for us in the Olympics in 2008. And the most amazing thing happens. The entire group of American athletes nominates him to be the flag bearer, to carry the flag out as they make their way into the stadium, which is like the highest honor because they're all so moved by his story. And George Bush gets a chance to talk to him and tells him how much he appreciates him, welcomes him to our country and spends more time with him than any other athlete introduces him to his family. And I just, I can't help but think that would our current president do that? Would he be proud? And would he realize the American dream happening right in front of him? Or would he be embarrassed, um, disappointed that somebody more like him in probably many ways, but certainly somebody that was born here, um, that somebody like that hadn't been nominated. I just don't know how we've gotten to this point where you can't celebrate and appreciate people who are just so glad and happy to be here. Um, it just, it just, it's just not right. And uh, yeah, that's all I got.